And Joby has made it into the radio studio here today. I, I know you've been super busy and uh, don't don't check your phone because as soon as you check your phone, you know, this will be canceled or that will be dropped or this will be uh, this will be uh, changed. So you've, you've heard that already today. I I, uh, I have. And okay. I have. I was actually, I apologize for being late. I was actually here on time, but I was on a business call that I just with had a customer to, to, and I could not, I, I'm not going to leave a customer. So that's right. That's uh, right. I was on with it. If it had just been a partner or something, I said, Hey, I got to do that. But in this case, it was a customer. So got to do what yeah, you got to do. I was sitting out here in front of the, sta yeah. the station and uh, visiting with a customer on one of my companies. So well, good. Well, but what, anyway, I made it uh, yeah. with a couple minutes to spare. No, you're okay. We've got about seven, eight minutes here. So okay. what would you like to talk about today? Well, so just as a reminder to everybody, we do have our uh, our, our uh, August tournament. It's coming up this weekend. We're going to be at uh, Hubbard Creek in um, Breckenridge, Texas. Tournament's going to start, of course, Saturday. And it's going to be a two-day tournament, Saturday and Sunday, as, as usual. Um, it's going to be an individual tournament, so we'll have boaters and non-boaters. Uh, we will, uh, we're going to continue the trend we started last month, which is new for our club, where we're going to separate uh, the boaters. We'll be fishing against the boaters, the non-boaters against the non-boaters, so there will actually be two different uh, uh, winnings, mm -hmm. uh, if you will, first, second, third, or whatever for each uh, uh, side. Okay. And um, just all the basic information we fish um, – and this is stuff you and I have talked about, Gene, over time, but just kind of reiterated, our limit is five fish per day, 14-inch uh, uh, minimum length. Some lakes are different, but the majority, all the lakes we fish are 14-inch uh, minimum on on a, a largemouth bass, spotted bass, or a smallmouth. And I don't think there's any smallmouth over in in Hubbard Creek. Um, so basically, we're fishing for largemouth or, or black bass. The, black bass or largemouth same same type of species and I, there might be some spotted but anyway 14 in, 14 inch limit five fish limit a day it is a two-day tournament so the total of your two-day weight uh, will determine where you fall into what place and we will be paying places based on number of entries and so uh, but for sure first place you know be paid out um, right that, now, that's I a guarantee, think that's right guaranteed there. if we have the tournament. There's yeah. at least enough people to have a tournament. So <laughs> uh, my expectations right now is maybe between four and eight boats, meaning between eight and 16 anglers. Um, I know that one of our guys is looking for a co-angler. So last week, I mentioned that. I think it was last week. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually got a co-angler mentioning it here on the on the show and then i told i told the audience last week we had two mm -hmm. well both of those have been filled now but then friday i got a text from one of our guys and his normal partner who's also a, a member of our club is not going to be able to go and so he's looking so if anybody out there is listening and it works because it happened last week uh we filled the previous two spots but now we have another one and so you don't have to be a member we we allow you to fish one time as a guest um and so we do have a club member that is looking for a non a non uh, boater a uh, co-angler now they and do need to, the tournament entry the fee. tournament entry they fee are will, responsible will for responsible that. for that mm -hmm. and the entry fee as always for our club is 75 dollars. so y you would have to pay your 75 dollars to enter and that has to be paid by noon on thursday to be entered for the weekend tournament uh, i send out invoices uh, via uh, paypal and so all I require is an is a email address, and then you'll get an invoice. You don't have to have a PayPal account to pay via PayPal. You can pay with a debit credit card without having to log into PayPal uh, with an account. And so basically, you pay as a guest, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, a PayPal <clears throat> guest, right? A PayPal guest. Yeah, you can be a PayPal guest and, and then a be guest a... for the Pecos Valley Bassmaster. That's right. You just be a guest. You can be a guest, and and uh, so and you if know, you stay in a hotel, you're, you're a, guest a guest at there. the hotel. Yeah, and you will obviously. You'll be. You're going to need to stay somewhere. You're going to need to eat, probably. That's right. So all those expenses, you know, obviously you need to know you're going to have um, going in. So seventy five dollars for the tournament fee, and then and then your expense, whatever gas to get there, or if you ride, you know, probably if you ride with the with your boater, normally we split the gas and split the hotel and you know all that kind of good stuff. So we do have a spot open that I, I know of for sure one. And uh, so anybody out there that says, hey, I might be interested. Um, I encourage you to reach out. Uh, obviously, you can reach out to the radio station because that's how, how it worked last week. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can also go to our website, pvbm.club. Our information, how to contact me, is there. 
Uh, you can email. I think my phone number's there as well. You can call, text me. Um, you can reach out here at KSVP. Um, but if you are, are thinking you want to do that, uh, you need to do it pretty quick. I mean, by Thursday at noon at the latest. And, um, and then I will connect you with the angler, the boater. And he is actually out of Lee County. Um, but, you know, if you're here in Artesia and you want to go, we can probably figure all that out as well. Yeah. Um, the my co-angler that had come into the radio station he's going to travel over with my dad actually next oh, friday okay. because i've <clears throat> decided i'm going to stay if we still have a football game as of right now we have one we have a football game right That's so right. as long as we having a football game i'm going to be in artesia until or carlsbad if i guess the game is scheduled for carlsbad mm -hmm. until the game is over and then i'm driving you know five hours overnight yep so probably nobody will want to drive with me my <laughs> co-angler is going to go over with uh <laughs> with my dad and his co-angler because yeah. we filled his boat as well um and they're probably even going to leave they may even leave on thursday we allow pre-fishing mm -hmm. so friday is a pre-fish day what would be called a pre-fish day you go over so what, what do you try to do when you're doing because you've done this before you've pre oh yeah before. a lot so lots what, what's the lots. point of a the, of a pre -fish? The point of that is to get on the lake um go around use your electronics go go look i mean a lot of these lakes we fished before so we have spots you know every guy that's fished lakes before is going to have some places that they know they've had they've have experience on the lake they know where they've caught fish the kind of structure the kind of maybe it's a point maybe it's docks maybe it's just a, a shoreline of, you know rocks and whatever but they've got spots all anglers will know what i mean when i say you got your spots um, so you might go to your spots look at it uh, water levels rising water levels falling the time of the year the what the weather's doing right now when you're on the lake all of those things and we've talked about that pl factor into what the fish are going to be doing and where they might be and how they might be biting so on pre-fish day i hate to catch fish on pre-fish day <laughs> i absolutely don't want to i never want to but i want to go look at our spots i want to go maybe l use our electronics see what the water level is doing what the water temperature is on those spots um, <clears throat> if the water's really up then a lot of times your spot's gone. You don't, you can't see it because it's way up. And a lot of our lakes are that way right now. Yeah. With all the rain we've had, both in West Texas and in New Mexico. Well, in New Mexico they were way down, so the opposite. But we've been having rain. They're hopefully filling up up at Ute and Conscious. But right. Uh, when we fished up at Ute and Conscious, they were really, really low. And so our, sp what I would have considered my spots, they were way out of water. I mean, I could see them up on the, you know, 50 yards up the bank there. That's yeah. where I used to fish. Now. I'm yeah yeah so so uh so on friday pre-fishing is is designed for that to go around maybe catch a fish or two see if you can hook one but um to look and you might even look for new spots you know and that's a lot of times that's what they do again i try to shake them off or not even get bit i try to feel the bite and not set the hook and say okay i, I know i i know there's you know they are biting here whatever i threw and mm -hmm. and uh and hopefully you find them on your pre-fish day in my case because of my desire to try to fill up every hour of every day seven <laughs> days a week <laughs> foolishly yeah. i might add for some reason i don't know why i do this but i do yeah uh a lot of times i don't get to pre-fish because i'm busy like <laughs> this weekend other for example you'll be uh <laughs> be calling a, a football game i yeah. mean obviously that could always work yeah you know but a lot of times a lot of our uh, anglers will take off friday so they can go in my case um you know, and I and I it is it is a job, I guess, calling football games. But I, I enjoy it so much. I look at it as a hobby almost, and and so it's just another one of my, uh, one of one of my many things that I could cut cut out of my life, and I'd free up some time. But I could. Well, go I don't want you to do that. But I like it, and yeah. I enjoy working with Eugene. I, I enjoy calling uh, games for the Bulldogs, and, and you know me, I'm a Bulldog through and through, and I love, uh, I just love that all of it, all of all that it entails. So. Yeah. In my case, I'm not going to get to pre-fish, but my partner's going. Your partner's going. We got about one minute left. Okay. So, um, well, I mean, I, that's that's basically the gist of it. You can go to our website, uh, pvbm.club, get all kinds of information. Although it's not updated properly, but it, it still get a lot of information. Mm -hmm. You can also follow us on Facebook. I'm going to put some Facebook posts out there this week, uh, just talking about the tournament. If you want to go and you're not currently a member, please reach out to Pakes Valley Bassmasters at hotmail.com. That is on our website, but I thought I'd say it here. Um, and and let me know so that we can get you set up. Very good. Joby, thank you as always. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. And uh, remind